Good morning, everyone. It's Annie from from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, I'm going to be talking about the next section of the Corinthians verse. <clears throat> and this is the part that says, love protects. And I came across this great uh, statement. It's not a quotation per se, but I really liked the sentiment. It said, a woman wants a man to protect her like a daughter, love her like a wife, and respect her like a mother. So again, a woman wants a man to protect her like a daughter, love her like a wife, and respect her like a mother. And I thought we could easily switch this to a male perspective, and we can say a man wants a woman to protect him like a son, love him like a husband, and respect him like a father. Right? So all of us want this sort of love, right? That it's God, this protection, this love, and a respect, right? So all of that, of course, to me, encompasses love in general. And I thought it's interesting that uh, this idea of love protects and uh, this feeling of protection from another. And of course, I'm hoping to be helping you with uh, raising your own consciousness. And in that awareness, there is a quotation that uh, was by Emma Goldman, and it says, Love needs no protection. It is its own protection. Love needs no protection. It is its own protection. And this I can truly attest to that uh, love has this sense of protection. And of course, if we are connecting with our higher selves and something larger than us, right? That something that could be defined as the universe, as God consciousness or God. And that love protects in a way that I suspect, I feel, no human could do. That energy can come through each of us, though. And I thought I'd remind you about this detail. And then today, I thought I would, first of all, get you to think about that first statement that I read out to you and see how do you love um, women in your life? How do you share love? How do you perceive your action of love? Um, how is the perception of action you receive, too? And in terms of where is that love coming from, I'd love for you to think for that about that for just a few minutes and uh, think about it. I would love for you to also think about this quotation, which I thought was just fabulous. It's by Eric Mikhail Leventhal. And this quotation says, love is the perception of perfection beyond the protection of our projection. Whew, that's a deep one. So I'm going to say it again and just explain a little, a, just a little bit. It says, love is the perception of perfection, perception of perfection, right? So, you know, in terms of perception, this is an idea of an estimate, as I'm reading this as the definition, the estimate or forecast of a future situation or trend based on a study of present ones. So an estimate or forecast of a future situation or trend based on a study of present ones. That's how our perception is based. So either the experiences we've had in our lives or that we're currently experiencing right now, colored by the experiences we've had in our life, that affects our perception. Love is the perception of perfection beyond the protection of our projection. So again, this projection is again, this is this idea of the estimate or forecast of future events, right? This idea of, yeah, this is my projection of what I'm seeing through my eyes is what I project onto what I'm seeing. So if someone has hurt me in the past, I'm going to feel like they're not protecting me now, right? So that's already shaped by something in my mind, which is now affecting my vision. This is again, raising consciousness, and I hope you can keep up with it. It's this deep idea of recognizing that what I see is influenced by what I've already seen or heard or witnessed or experienced or felt, right? All of these things affect my current perception. So again, I'm going to finish with this quote one more time. Love is the perception of perfection beyond the protection of our projection. Now, why is that? If it's beyond the protection of our projection, isn't that a not safe space? No, our eyes that are projecting what our mind is thinking or has experienced is going to project likely more things that are related to fear than things that are related from 
ease and comfort. And that awareness is, it seems like it's protecting us, right? Because we're protecting ourselves from something that's not safe that we've experienced in the past. But it is beyond this is a space of spirituality where we are actually recognizing that, wow, when I want to go beyond what my eyes are perceiving right now, I have to sense what the universe is sharing with me. And I leave you with that thinking for the day ahead. I hope you have a fantastic day ahead. I thought I'd also let you know that today I'm wearing this sweater, which uh, used to be my brother's sweater. And some of you know that my brother has passed away many years ago, but uh, I will let you know that his name Hafiz also means guardian or protector. And I love that. So it just seemed like the right sweater to wear while I'm talking about protection of love. So I wish you a fantastic day ahead. I hope you know that you are protected by love that comes from within and is shared with those around you. Have a fantastic day. And remember, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.